Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and informations on Path of Exile. And the first news we got this week are some 3D art for unique body armors which are coming in the next expansion, so the content update 3.1. And uh, some of you might have noticed a sneaky, sneaky 3D art for the lightning coil into the build of the week bloopers video which was uh, released last week. And uh, whether it was a mistake on GGG part or it was planned, they decided to actually show us more of these 3D arts that are coming, so lightning coil over here, pretty good, although I don't personally like all of the effects they put around it just to make it match with some kind of microtransactions and thing. I would just like to see the armor itself, so dendrobate over here looking very very nice, uh, Heavils fostering which is the white coat, it, you can even hardly see it between all of the microtransactions around, and Possibly, but still not totally defined, the Tabula Rasa 3D art. Tabula Rasa has been one of the oldest unique items f in the game, and it's gonna be pretty amazing when it gets a, a 3D art. Also, this looks like pants for the Templar to me, but still looking pretty damn cool. Also, we got some more statistics for the Harbinger Challenge Leagues, and the first one is the number of challenges completed, so you can see, well, it goes. It starts from players who have at least one challenge completed, so the scale is always full for one challenge, and then it goes on and off until the 12th or 13th, because if you play the game up to maps and then a bit more, you kind of get around 12, 13 challenges by yourself, and then you go on, you can see it's pretty much a flat thing until the 24, and then it goes down very deep until 36 which is where most players actually stop because uh, the last four to five challenges are just extremely time consuming so you either commit fully to the 40 or you don't commit at all and you stop at 36 so pretty much everyone that's in between these two is going for the 40 challenges and that's actually how it should be we also got a percentage of time spent in each area and you can see there's a lot of time spent in hideouts that's also skewed by the people who actually have uh, maybe an alt account or just stand into hideout and uh, receive PMs to actually trade so that's why there's so much hideout time there. The impressive things to me is that the part one of the acts actually have a very high percentage, it's definitely higher than the, two pa the part 2 of the game, while of course maps have a bigger percentage, but not as big as I thought it would be. Labyrinth is pretty low, no surprise there, and I don't know what other might be, so well, there's still some other stuff. Also, we got some maps opened in the last week, so only a week, and you can instantly see there's legacy maps, so for standard and normal. It's pretty impressive that people are still opening these legacy maps. To be honest, I like to save mine just for the fact that they are legacy. But still, whatever. Uh, the other very impressive thing is that there are kind of 1 million maps for uh, tier 2, tier 3 and tier 6 maps. And then after the 6, they just go straight down Tier, sev tier 17 are really rare, as you can see only 32,000 and pretty much opened by streamers I guess and top tier players of course but you can see that the first, the tier 2 to 6 are the most common and there's probably something about the drop rate and something about how the progression works in the game that kind of keeps many players into this range of maps so it's pretty much white maps into early yellow maps and I believe that for the average player that's kind of the place where they get stuck or they just play and they don't maybe don't, don't like trading or they trade just a little they wait for the right gear to drop so they kind of get stuck into this place however if you go over they, you can just go to the top tier maps once you um, surpass the block it's pretty much free open road. Also, we got some new music preview from Act 6 because while the game has been of course launched with all of the acts, the music still is being implemented in there 
and this is a three minute or something video about new music that's coming for Act 6. So as usual GGG is actually continuing to improve their own game, even the parts that are already out. So that's a pretty good news. And also we got finally the winners for the fan art competition on the Fall of Oriath. And um, you can see the quality is absolutely amazing. This is these are the top three submissions and they are absolutely unbelievable. Also going on with the top 5, so the remaining 2 from the top 3 and then the top 10, top 20, runners up, I mean there's a lot of winners and all of them definitely deserving their win. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, I already said it multiple times but I feel like um, the level of this competition was so much higher than uh, it used to be, so it's really really good that uh, this kind of competition brought the community together to make these incredible fun art pieces and it's nice that GGG is actually recognizing them actually giving away prizes uh, to commemorate these things so all in all pretty damn good thing on both the community and GGG and pretty much is making the game grow healthy also in other parts that are not just the game itself which is doing pretty fine by itself anyway, so uh, yeah, I guess that was all for this week, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below, also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all, I've been your host Orzom, and I'll see you guys the next time.